Hey guys, okay, so I've pre-recorded a video of me showing you how to do um, some different multiplication strategies and today I'm going to go through two ways to solve multiplication strategies for really large numbers. The first one I'm going to show you is partitioning. So partitioning is basically when we split a number into its place value parts, okay? So place value parts basically means what is the number made up of? Here I have 298 times 42. So I'm going to split my 200, I'm going to split it into 90, and I'm going to split it into 8. All right? And my 42, I'm going to do the same thing. But here I've only got 40 and 2. And I'll show you how to arrange this in what I call um, a hashtag maths sort of um, strategy. So you draw yourself a little hashtag and it looks like this, depending on how many numbers you've got, but it'll make sense in a second. At the top, I always put my largest number, and in the left-hand corner, you can put yourself a little times, which I've just done. Okay, so my number is 298. So this is where I have to write down those numbers in the partitioned form. 200, and then 90, and then eight, okay? So on the down the other side, I'm gonna have 40 and two. I'm just gonna pause it for a second, just so that we can catch up. Now, this is how I want you to organize uh, basically large sums with this partitioning strategy. And I'm gonna talk you through how to fill in each box because they correspond to each other. So basically that means that the answer will go inside this box for 240. So they match up, okay? I'm just gonna get rid of that so it's not on my thing. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so um, I can see that I'm underlining two and four. So all I need to know now is two times four, which is eight, and I have three zeros on the outside. So that means I put three zeros next to my eight, which turns it into 8,000. Moving along, I've got four times nine, which makes 36, and then I've got two zeros there. So that turns it into 3,600. Lastly, four times eight, which is my 32, and then I add the zero on the end. Okay, sorry it's going a little bit quickly, but now I've got to think about my last column or row. Two times two is four, and then I've got my two zeros that I've just added there. And moving on, nine times the eight to nine times the two makes the 18, and then my one zero there. Okay, it's just going a little bit quickly for me, so I just wanna pause it, but okay. So hopefully we can see where all of this has happened because I know it's really confusing. My two times my two makes the four because they next to each other. And then I have the zeros added on at the end. Okay, same thing here. Two times the nine makes the 18. And then my one zero on the right hand side. And lastly, my two ones, so my two and my eight, two and eight, because they're from my ones column from earlier they multiply and they become 16, okay? So I'm just gonna rub out all of my mess that I've just made. Now you're probably wondering what on earth we do with all of these numbers in the boxes now, but I'm about to show you and it will make a bit more sense. So essentially we need to add up everything. So you can think about a really quick way to add it up. 8,000 and 3,600 is 11,600. Then let's get put the 400 on there to make 12,000. And we can cross it off as we go along so that we know that we've added it so that we can keep track of what else we need to add. Lastly, we've got, or not lastly, but we've got 320 and then we've got 180. So we need to do an algorithm to add those up. And we're carrying our 10 and then that's turning it into, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I think the last thing I need to add is the 16 and then I get 12,516. So that's one way to work out how to partition with um, maths. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you one more thing before I went. So I know that that strategy was actually um, probably quite overwhelming. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how we can use that strategy even with just a small um, or smaller multiplication problem. 
So I've got 28 times 32 and I just want to show you how to set it up super quickly and so that we can get done and work out the answer. So we have our hashtag, which is our four lines. Okay, now 28 is 20 on the left and then eight down the bottom, nice and simple. And then my 30 and then my two. And in the left hand side, I can do my multiplication symbol. So I know that that's what I'm doing. Now, first things first, what is two times three? That is six. And then I've got my 600 because I've got my two zeros. Let's keep going. Two times two, which is four. And then I have my one zero there. Now I'm on my last row. Eight times three, 24. I need one more zero. Fantastic. And then eight times two, which is 16. Now I need to add those four numbers together. So 600 plus 240 is 840, 840 plus 40 is 880, 880 plus 16 is 896. Done. Guys, and do you know why we do partitioning? It's so we can do big numbers like that in our head. So have a go at doing this with some of the big questions um, that I'll attach at some point. So good stuff. Bye.